Nice that everybody could come again and listen to what's going on in Dodge County, and this is a little different. Here I am asking for help. Uh, this is a call for candidates. We need new blood on the Dodge County Board of Supervisors. There are many, many individuals that have been there for 10, 12, 15, even 20 years. And relationships become stronger and stronger. Habits get ingrained. And then we start having the problems we're having. A chairman who gets elected to be chairman by a majority of supervisors who breaks county law, state law, and constitutional law, and they say, I didn't see anything happen. What do you mean? This has to change. So the election for supervisors of Dodge County is coming up this April, April of 2024. I want you to consider or talk to someone else who lives in Dodge County to consider running against whoever might be the supervisor in your district. Competition is always good. I am always encouraging someone to run against me if they want to. That's what constitutional form of government is about. But that opens the door to debate, and debate opens the door to the residents of that district to learn what's going on. But that's what these people don't want. They do not want you to be in the know. They want you to be in the dark so they can continue to do what they've been doing. So think about it. A majority of our county board needs to have some competition this year. They need to have an opponent in this race for supervisor of Dodge County. There's 33 districts, so there's plenty of room. And even if there's three people running, there will be a runoff before the main election in April. So uh, contact me at freeanddodge at hotmail.com. If you'd be interested or you know someone that's interested, have them contact me at Free and Dodge. I want to tell you one district in particular, district number 23, it's in the area of Watertown, northern Watertown. We are looking for someone to run against a sitting supervisor from there. This is the area surrounding Highway 16 and R. The northern boundary is a line drawn east and west with Highway R before it turns northeast and southwest. Uh, above Wedgwood Drive. So that's the northern boundary. The southern boundary at the bottom is a line drawn connecting East Division with Boughton Street. You can look at a map and see where that is. East boundary, a line connecting Schumann Drive and Kimberly Court. West boundary, the area east of Highway M, which is Center Street, north of R, and the area east of Labory Street, south of R. You can go on the Dodge County Home website, punch in, or go and click on the supervisors, County Board of Supervisors, look to District 23, and it'll give you a picture of that map too. So please consider running for Dodge County Board of Supervisors. We would love to see more people take a part in county government. It is the part of government that is forgotten. We have on the lower end, we have uh, town, city, uh, school board, those kind of things. And on the top end, we have our state and national politics. And right in the middle is county board. And people don't think of that. So please consider it. Watch the board meetings. They are live streamed every third Tuesday. And then also watch on Free and Dodge on Facebook and Free and Dodge on YouTube. You will see a live, uh, live video that I do after every meeting concerning main points at the meetings. So go to Free and Dodge on Facebook to stay in touch. Uh, more more, more um, current information is on there. And then we do get more information on this website as we can do it also. So consider that. Thank you.